ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਵਾਚਿੰਗ ਸਿਕ ਟੀਵੀ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਵਿਦ ਮੀ ਇਕਾਂਕਸ਼ੀ ਸਿੰਘ ਸੋ ਲੈਟਸ ਬਿਗਿਨ ਦ ਬੁਲੇਟਿਨ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਟੌਪ ਹੈਡਲਾਈਨਸ ਆਫ ਥਿਸ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ ਨੋ ਟੈਰਰ ਐਂਗਲ ਟੂ ਅਮ੍ਰਿਤਸਰ ਕਿਲਿੰਗ ਐਂਟੀ ਟੈਰਰਿਸਟ ਸਕੁਐਡ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਸਮੋਕ ਟਰਬਲਿੰਗ ਲਾਹੌਰੀਆਸ ਟ੍ਰੇਨ ਟੂ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ 2400 ਲੀਵ ਟੂ ਸੈਲੀਬ੍ਰੇਟ ਗੁਰਪੁਰਬ ਆਰਡਰ ਔਨ ਪਲੀ ਆਫ ਰਜਵਾਨਾ ਸਕਿਨ ਰਿਜ਼ਰਵ the anti terrorist squad today said there was no involvement of any sikh militant or radical outfit behind the killing of hindu leader vipin sharma a monetary dispute between gangster and bookies are the main cause behind the incident said kunwar vijay pratap singh vipin sharma was shot dead in broad daylight in the bharatnagar area on the batala road by two armed turban youths with covered faces on monday While categorically denying the involvement of terrorist outfits in the murder, Kunwar Vijay Pratap Singh said no terrorist outfit would be allowed to carry out nefarious activities and vitiate peacefully atmosphere in Punjab. Communal harmony would be maintained at any cost, he added. Vipin Sharma's murder was the outcome of a financial dispute between bookies and gangsters. Not smugglers anti socials from tanneries. Pakistan is complaining of thick smoke from across the border. Quoting experts, Pakistan media claims that smoke originating from India has engulfed Pakistan cities, especially Lahore. Large scale burning of paddy residual has left Pakistan residents gasping for breath, their reports claim. Kahan Singh Pannu, the chairman of Punjab Pollution Control Board, blames it on westerly winds. Smog has traveled towards Pakistan because of westerly winds moving at the velocity of 7 to 8 km per hour. The smog starting from Uttar Pradesh has traveled to Punjab and then moved further into the west. The wind velocity has so far been low. Around 2400 pilgrims today left for Pakistan from the Atari station by special trains. to celebrate birth anniversary of Guru Nanak Dev slated for November 4 at Nankana Sahib the pilgrims will visit various Sikh religious destinations from November 5 onwards and will return on November 11 the SGPC has sent religious literature and utensils for community kitchen for various gurdwaras in Pakistan the jathas were sent by various organizations including the SGPC Bhai Mardana Yadgari Kirtan Darbar Society in Delhi. The Pakistan Rail Department ran three special trains for the pilgrims. Around 1200 devotees left in the first train, which left at around 12 noon. A decade after Balwan Singh Rajwana was sentenced to death by a sessions court for his role in former Chief Minister Bayan Singh's assassination case. The Punjab and Haryana High Court today reserved order on the issue of his sister's locus standi to seek his release after commuting the sentence to life imprisonment. As the petition filed against the Union of India and other respondents came up for hearing, Petitioner Kamaldeep Kaur Rajwana's counsel Gursharan Kaur Man addressed the court on the issue of locus the right or capacity to bring an action or to appear in the court so this is all what we have in today's edition see you tomorrow on the same time thanks for watching sick tv